Alrighty, let's watch this in full first here. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Yeah, that's better. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. And bye bye. Cool. Cool. Yeah, okay, hold on. So, since we have this, 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 and this, I'm going to move myself over this way. So, there's more room there. Cool. I'm looking at the guy first. The only thing I would say is careful when you have big rotations in the chest that the head has a bit more influence. Right now, it's a very like uh, top model catwalk thing of the head is very straight as the shoulders and everything moves. So as you move this way, I would have a slight, like ever so slight tilt and it never so slight rotation. Like this rotation is going to pull the head with it, but of course the head is going to counter, but it's gonna, still going to take away that IK head curse. You can see as you scrub through there. I think those thoughts are cool looking at what's going on. And then that is cool. Not that it... Yeah, I think it's okay. I was looking at frame by frame, like taking the hat off. Is that really going to push that head that much forward? And if you do, careful that it's not just from this joint, but also from this. At the same time, we're talking frames here. So it would be here first and then as the head moves, the lower neck gets more engaged. Now that being said, in real time, it feels totally fine. And you have an offset in those shoulders. You can probably maybe give this guy a bit lower and this guy a bit higher because that arm is higher. I mean, the only thing I would say, this is not a shock killer. I don't think you have to really, really do it. I'm just throwing out idea ideas that since he's so flat towards us here, and then on that, it might even have a slight turn in this. And watch out the silhouette. I, don't, I would not do that. I know he wants to go for the arm, but not that he has to go like, hey, and go after her. But it could be something where instead of just doing, hey, it's more like, hey, like a, like a slight turn. Again, not that he wants to, there's enough time to go, my hat, and reach after her. But it feels like he's walking and the reaction is mostly like this. And it could be something where it's like, whoa. Like he, she comes out of his right side. So maybe the flinch has also a bit of a turn in the chest. So that he ends up a bit more turn either way. I mean, it feels like that happens. And it will maybe turn towards this side towards us. Which kind of closes up the silhouette. So maybe it's just, whoa. I'm just trying to find a pose that's different from this when we're here. Again, is that picky? Yes. Um, is it really super necessary? I think as a, as a bit of more complexity in terms of what the body is doing. It could be kind of neat though. Just have something a bit more. But generally, like that's fine. But careful how you linger on a bit of a muddy silhouette. And only towards the end we're there. And you could also it could also just be this. And instead of that, you have your arm out towards this so that the last frame actually is the end of the arm with the hand. So we don't have such a big pop out on the on the character visually. It just kind of pops away. So, you know, it would be then this arm here. End of the arm hand. And that could still be somewhat here and I guess and yeah we just kind of cheat it and then bring it lower there and have that so it's a bit more of this I don't know I don't know if that's again it's not a shock killer but I think it could be worth an exploration totally up to you the only thing I would do is on this these feel a bit too nice nicely posed I think at this point he would be already kind of like whoa and fingers spread out a bit especially towards the ends I would kind of work on this. These are not the right fingers though. My awesome drawings, but kind of bring these out a bit more where you have some of those fingers a bit more curled and stuff like that on him. Then on her, that's pretty cool. I think again, to avoid that 2D card feel, 
Although I do see a change in the legs, I think what we can do, let me bring this a bit lower so we see the frame. As she comes in, you know, those arms and like that whole shape feels fairly similar to here. So what you could do is, what is she doing? She's doing is, okay, so what if she's slightly more turned like that, but the chest a bit lower, head a bit lower, and either like arms behind her, so that when she comes to this, she gets into this because head is down and the head starts to go up. I mean, it's not like she has to look at the ground. I know she's looking at the targets, but imagine it's just a bit flatter, her chest and her head, where you might just see the eyes like this. And from here to here, she gets into the pose. Hey, so there's a bit of a, and again, she'll be slightly more angled sideways. I know she comes down here, but maybe it could come from here. I'm just looking at a bigger contrast from this. It just feels a bit flat. So, imagine slightly more angled, maybe just to come a bit more from the right, chest and head a bit lower, so that you have a change, arms come forward, head goes up, there's a bit more of a, whoa, let me get ready here. Because here it's nice, you have that with the hand, and that's cool here, let me watch this again. I think all I would do is, wait a bit with that hand, that hand is a bit soft as it goes forward. It makes it very clear, I'll give you that. It's a nice clear move, but it feels a bit even in timing. All I would do is go into your pose here and then hold this a tiny bit longer. And I'm really talking about two, three frames and then come forward into that. Really, it's just like even like a two frame thing, just a, a slight texture. So it doesn't feel like this is so even. There's a slight pause around here. And then because of that, this will be ever so slightly faster. This is great. I like that we can see her. I know you have your trees there. Let me see. Definitely very smooth. And since we're so close here, I think you can afford to overshoot with the camera. Come back a bit. Be slightly looser. Because it's a bit... A bit harsh. Just a tad. I think we can afford that. Because imagine you have your action save or like you know your theater crop. Not that this would, will be projected on film, but I think we can easily go up so that there's maybe this much room. And then we can come back. Because the thing what happens now is that, A, we're very close. And as she comes down, we're really maintaining that gap here. And what I would do is side a little overshoot there. And she could be framed maybe around here, the head, instead of here, if you want to be on the slightly higher side. Uh, but again, nothing really forces you to not reframe properly. Then have her go down so that her feet get to here. And then have the camera follow. I think we're just a bit too here in sync. You can see the camera and her. A bit too in sync. Because it's okay to even break frame a tiny bit. And then the camera catches up by maybe here. For that land. And I think for that turn, I think what could be cute, she's definitely in control. And I like that you have your hand and the arm go up. It's just a bit of a bummer that we're covering the face. So I will probably go. And then she opens more into a lower hand pose into the arm out with even a slight, slight more almost at us. I don't mind this being nice and and snappy there and I like that you still have softness in the arm and the leg um, I would just again I would probably I would, personally I don't like to cover faces because I do want to see at this point like who's that and what's her reaction and now A she looks this way I would even even if that's technically correct I would still cheat bring the head down so she looks at the guy because to us it's she's in the air he's not I would just visually reinforce that and personally I would bring that arm low um, and potentially on that turn, so you're like this, and then that leg would already be here. Ta -ta -ta. That leg already be here. Pop, 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 pop. At that point, that leg could even come into a stronger offset, and that leg coming up is that overshoot. So even though the body stops, the rest continues. So you're a bit sooner into this. And I know you bring that up because of the drop. That's nice, but you can still have a bit of a that in the leg. The leg can drop a bit again as she goes down and as she picks up speed, the leg goes back up. So that it's not so stuck through here either. I think this could all work. 
and probably... Phew, that arm feels a bit IK, watch out how he goes down. It's a bit straight there in its path. But what I would do is that arm lower with the hat so that you have more frames to come up to where you are now. Overshoot a bit and then come back into where you are, what you have here by now, whatever this is. 50, 80, 90, 90, frame 90. Feels like that arm, that hat arm is a bit fast to a stop and it comes down a bit, a bit IK ish. The rest is cool. I like that incorporated the move backwards. And again, I would have that head. So that way the head can stabilize, right? From this to that. I like your impact. Works with the boom. Do the move back. The only thing I would say is that the root goes down, but kind of sticks. Not super, super, but instead of going this way, kind of sticks it and suddenly... Whoa, moves fast. Just a tad. <gasps> Whoop, right there. And I know it's you want to go backwards and then bring that leg back. But it's somewhat also tied to that leg move. Root doesn't really go back. Now it goes back. So I would just go... Fa -bong, and already be slightly back. And then not so quickly yet. Give that leg kind of a lead. So that this leg has time to push. Then the body goes back into what you have here. Which is cool. That's all cool. Turns cool. That's Q2. The only thing I would say is boom on that impact on the head. I don't mind it, but personally, I would I don't know, I would just bring that head a bit lower. She has a slight feel of head this, eyes down, so it's kind of looking like that. That's what you want to go acting for. It feels like I know I feel like I want to be slightly slightly lower with the head. That's all cute. And I will probably lead a bit more with the head. Again, this is her subjective, you don't have to. Not that this is not good. To me, it feels like she does this, now she's done. I know she keeps looking. Ah, I mean you do have her looking at him. I'm just reacting to this, how the chest and the head kind of go together. Could it be something where you do this? Again, it's not a killer, not that the shop breaks because of it. But throwing out ideas, feel free to absolutely ignore everything I say here. You hold the look, which is good. And then the head starts, the body starts to turn, but then have a slight pause through here, 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 these three frames, where the head can now lead so that the head is already looking this way profile so that at that point the head leads and then the chest catches up and then I would personally do a slight root dip here for push off it's a bit a bit fast it just kind of disappears as if she's being pulled and I think she's very playful and she doesn't have to you know rush off or anything Unless, unless that's the internal process, that's what, what you want her to do, but... Like, it has this nice, soft feel. Playful feel. I feel like it would have a playful hop. And it's more her jump, and then so, like... Out, that kind of feel, versus... I'm out of here. That's the only thing I would say towards the end. So, picky stuff, some ideas for free, as always. And, you know, I trust you, you're a really good animator, so... You will take whatever you need to do this. Um, to do whatever you want with that. So I will end it there. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.